HDFC Classic Assure Plus. What kind of assurance this policy gives you? How classically this policy helps you create wealth? Let us explore. Hi, this is Ramalingam from holisticinvestment.in. We help individual investors like you to take the right financial and investment decision. Before analyzing this policy, we have to understand the basic structure of this policy. Also, we have to understand the benefits, what we can expect from this policy so that we will be able to analyze this. This policy is not a ULIP policy. This is a regular endowment or money back kind of policy. When I say this is not a ULIP policy, the money collected from you will not be invested in stock market. That is why it is not a unit linked. This is a regular endowment kind of policy. So this policy will give you life cover. So some amount of premium will go towards life cover. Balance money will be invested by the company. On maturity, you will get back some money. right? So this policy also has got limited premium paying term. That means the, if the policy term is 15 years, you can choose to pay premium for 7 to 10 years. Like that for different time frame, different options are given. Not necessary for you to pay premium for the entire time frame. You will be paying premium for few years, then you will wait for few years. And after the waiting period on maturity, you will be getting a lump sum money. This is how the policy works. What kind of benefit this policy gives you? That we have to understand. This policy gives you two benefits. One is death benefit. The other one is maturity benefit. Let us see one by one. The death benefit from this policy is the highest of any of these three things. There are three things. What are they? One, sum assured. Then 105% of the total premiums paid. 10 times annualized premium. Out of these three values, whichever is higher, that will be given to the nominee as the claim amount, death benefit. Now we can move on to the maturity benefit. Maturity benefit can be understood easily with an example. Let us say someone is paying like a, a premium for 10 years with a policy term of 20 years. Right? So annual premium approximately comes to 1,16,000. So you are paying premium for 1,16,000 and premium paying term of 10 years and another waiting period of 10 years, maturity is at the end of 20th year. This is the example. How much maturity value is expected? All right. Uh, this policy has got guaranteed benefits as well as non-guaranteed benefits. Now I am listing down only the guaranteed as well as non-guaranteed. Both are listed here, right? Including both. In a worst case scenario, this policy can give 18.4 lakhs. In a best case scenario, this policy can give you 32.2 lakhs. This is what we can give. If you take into account only the guaranteed return, right? Then guaranteed return works out approximately to 1% only. It works out only to 1%. So this policy claims that it's a, it is, this is an assure plus. No, it, it assures only 1% return. So don't get carried away by the guaranteed return term or assure plus, you know, like a word in the name. Don't get carried away by that. If uh, you want to compare this with other investment options, then we have chosen two investment options. Instead of investing in this policy, if you invest in PPF or in mutual fund ELSS, what kind of return you will get? Right? So that we will have better analysis and better comparison. If you are investing the same premium money in uh, mutual funds and PPF, what you will get? First, let us take PPF. PPF, you are taking Every year you are paying a, you know, like a premium of 1.16 lakhs. What you will get? Right? Uh, for PPF, we have taken the example of term insurance plus PPF. So you will get life cover as well as investment. 
that way we have accommodated uh, the premium when we do it that way maturity benefit from ppf after paying the term insurance premium works out to 30.85 lakhs 30.85 lakhs again 7.1 percent return assured return from government backed institution right that we have to understand so ppf is government backed assured it is giving much much higher guarantee much much higher assurance compared to classic assured plus now let us compare it with ELSS mutual fund investment. ELSS mutual fund investment is market linked, stock market linked. It has got a risk. It can go up and down. If you can stay in a fund for seven years plus, then you can make return. If you are going to stay for less than seven years, there's a high probability you may end up making loss also. So classic Assured Plus and ELSS is not an apple to apple comparison, but whereas PPF, and the classic Assured Plus is an apple to apple comparison. Here I am comparing it with ELSS. If you are an aggressive investor who are comfortable taking risk, then this can be a better option because you are locking your money in Assured Plus for long term. ELSS mutual fund you know, definitely can give better inflation beating returns if you are locking your money for long term. Here the same money is invested. Again, uh, the, um, the premium you are uh, paying for term insurance is also deducted after <clears throat> taking term insurance, if you invest the balance money in ELSS, how much you will get, right? The maturity value is 59.5 lakhs and the total gain is 48 lakhs. So if you adjust for the taxation, the overall, the maturity value is 54.7 lakhs, right? 54.7 uh, lakhs seems to be a much higher number because you are taking a risk. So or definitely you will be getting much higher return. So compared to both PPF and ELSS, HDFC Classic Assured Plus is not scoring anywhere. So what should be our uh, final uh, decision? Do we have to invest in Classic Assured Plus or do we have to avoid? Because it is giving very mediocre return, very poor return, even like uh, your uh, uh, PPF can outbid it. So in the two boxes, yes or no, you have to obviously choose no as the option. And where you can invest the money which you have. There are two options. If you are a conservative investor, go for term insurance plan plus PPF investment. If you are an aggressive investor, then obviously term insurance plan plus ELSS mutual fund. The third combination could be term insurance plan plus PPF and ELSS mutual fund. This way you will be able to do asset allocation. Also, you will be able to do it with this. So please avoid classic assure and go for either PPF or ELSS with term insurance plan concept. We have done a complete detailed in-depth research about this particular policy and we have written that as a detailed blog post. It is available in our blog. The link to that blog post is given below this video in the description box. Please click the article now and read it so that you will get much detailed, elaborate view about this particular policy. Friends, if you have liked this video, please uh, share it with your friends to whom this will be of useful. If you have any questions with reference to this policy or any other investment options or achieving your financial goals, feel free to book a free appointment with our financial planner. The registration link for booking the appointment is given below this video in the description box. Would you like to attend insightful investment webinars? We organize regular investment webinars. The registration link for the upcoming webinar is given below this video in the description box. You can register for the upcoming webinar and get strategies, ideas to create long-term wealth. Last but not the least, if you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you will not miss any of our future videos which can help you to create wealth. Thank you. Bye.